Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dears. We will be discussing the features of a good test or what is a good test in this video. Let's start. A test is not something that is done in a careless or haphazard manner. There are some qualities that are observed and analyzed in a good test. Some of these are discussed under various headings in this video. Indeed, whether the test is diagnostic or achievement or any other type, the characteristic features described here are basically the same. Language testing is a very formal process and if tests are not prepared and administrated according to standards, the results will not be reliable and true and thus we will not be able to understand what the students have learned and how was the teaching learning process during a course. The first feature of a good test is validity. According to Benham, validity deals with what is tested and degree to which a test measure what is supposed to measure. For example, if I as a teacher want to test the writing skills of my students and I give them the test containing the questions regarding cooking, my test will not be valid. Because if my purpose is to test writing skills, then my test should test the skills of writing, not the skills of cooking. So in this case, my test is not valid. Following are the types of validity, construct validity, content validity, face validity and washback validity. Construct validity is the first type of validity. It is a theoretical concept that involves other types of validity. Where an educationist writes that to construct or plan a test, you should know the student's behavior and their mental organization. It is the ground on which the test is based. It is the starting point for a constructing of a test task. In addition, he displays that test design requires some theory, even if it is indirect exposure to it. Moreover, being able to define the theoretical construct at the beginning of the test design, we will be able to use it when dealing with the result of the test. Construct validity is the validity that has been taken care at the time of preparing of a test. This is the initial stage of test preparation and at that time the, the teacher or the test maker should take into account the student's behavior, their mental organization, their approach towards teachers and their approach towards studies. The second type of validity, content validity, which is very important and which is usually an issue raised by the students. Content validity is closely connected with the definite item that was start and supposed to be tested. Content validity is the validity that shows it means that whatever have been taught in the classroom should be the subject of the test. Usually we have often received the complaints of our students that the test was out of course. It means that it was not valid at content level because it was not based on what was taught to the students. A simple example can be when we teach as teachers we should keep in mind the important aspects of our topic and our course or study material because we will have covered them in our tests and examinations. Let's take an example. If we teach all aspects of computer to our students, it is very difficult for us to cover all the aspects in the test related to computer. So we should pick important aspects, the aspects that was taught and explained in detail in the classroom and only in this case our test will be valid at content level. Another type of validity is wash back or backwash validity. According to whose backwash is the effect of testing and teaching and learning process. It could be both negative and positive. The teachers should make backwash positive more and more who believes that if the test is considered to be a significant element then preparation to it will occupy the most of the time and other teaching and learning activities will be ignored as a teacher we should work on getting positive backwash if the test is not valid if the test is not reliable if the test is not clear if the test does not have clear instructions if it is not understandable we will be having negative backwash the students will not be motivated after taking a test. Another feature of a good test is reliability. After validity, the most important aspect is reliability. According to Benham, reliability shows that the test result will be similar and will not change if one and the same test will be given on various days. 
it will not only display the idea that the test is well organized but it will denote that the students have acquired the new material well a reliable test according to benham will contain well formulated tasks and not indefinite questions the student will know what exactly should be done the test will always present ready example at the beginning of each task to clarify what should be done the students will not be frustrated and will know exactly what they are asked to perform now a reliable test is a test that produce similar scores if it is conducted on different days it is very hard and difficult to make a reliable test because there might be many variables that might affect the reliability of the test but it is one of the essential element of a good test accuracy is another feature of a good test a good test must be capable of accurate measurement of the academic ability of the learner it shows exact capability and ability of a learner a good test should give a true picture of the learner it should point out clearly areas that are learned and areas that are not learned all being equal a good test should isolate the good from the bad a good student should not fail a good test while a poor student passes without flying colors this is what accurate test is another feature is directionality a good test must represent teaching learning objectives and goals the directions must be clear the test should be conscious of the objectives of learning and objectives of testing for example if the objective of learning is to master a particular skill and apply the skill the test should be directed towards mastery and application of the very skill otherwise it will not be a well directed test the last feature of a good test is variety variety is also a characteristic of a good test this includes a variety of test types the same test should not be repeated every time we should have different types of tests on different occasion multiple choice test subjective test objective test any other types of test true false etc it also includes variety of tasks and so on it also includes variety of task within each test in one test you are focusing on writing the other you are in the other you are focusing on reading then speaking then listening then you can combine rewriting with speaking and listening transcoding solving organizing presenting extending information interpreting and so many and so forth in most cases both the tasks and the material to be used in the test should be real to the life situation of what the learner is being trained for these were different salient features of a good test variety directionality accuracy reliability and validity thank you so much for watching